because we're seeing here that God manifests himself as a human being, Jesus Christ. He manifests himself as the Holy Ghost, indwelling the believer, coming upon believers in great power. And he manifests himself as the Father up in heaven. And yet the Bible talks about the Father being in your heart. The Bible talks about Christ in you, the hope of glory. The Bible talks about, know ye not, your own selves have that Jesus Christ is in you, except in your reverence. Is, is his physical body in you? No. The Holy Spirit is the, is the member of the Godhead that's in you, and yet the Bible calls the Holy Spirit Jesus Christ. I mean, nobody's going to sit here and tell me that the resurrected body of Jesus Christ is living inside of me. And yet the Bible says, know ye not, your own selves have that Jesus Christ is in you. In the form of the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. You can't, you can try to separate them, but the Bible is going to bring them together into one. The three in one, the Trinity, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, these three are one. You can't separate them. And if you do separate them, you're, you're entering error and falsehood and false doctrine. And on his by, name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So we know that Jesus Christ, from the beginning, and he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now, if Jesus Christ was not God, could he really be the Lord of Lords? Because, you know, the word God actually kind of means ruler. So when we think of God, he's the ultimate ruler. He has all power. He's in complete control. So, and Lord's a pretty synonymous term. We can think of Lord, ruler, king. They're all synonymous terms. If he's the king of kings, if he's the Lord of Lords, sounds like he's at the top. So you either have to believe that Jesus Christ is at the top and God the Father is below, or they're the same person. But they can't be different. You can't say that that verse is true and then say that Jesus isn't God or say that he's not the Father. Oh, no, you may not like to say Jesus is the Father. That's fine. You may not like that term. That's fine. But here's what I want you to understand. And here's why I don't think it's a big deal. Because if I said or if somebody said, Jesus is the Father. Right? Versus someone saying, Jesus is not the Father. You know what this sign right here means? If we were to put, if we were to have a word, you know, word, a, math, a mathematical word question, whenever the equal signs comes out, you know what you would say? You'd say is. This symbol means is. So when someone says Jesus is the Father, you know what they're saying? They're saying Jesus equals the Father. Didn't we, we just read that he thought not robbery to make himself equal with God? That's it, Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but that also that God was his Father making himself equal with God. And when someone says Jesus is not the Father, I don't like the term Jesus is not the Father. You've never heard me say Jesus is not the Father. You say, why? Because when someone says Jesus is not the Father, you know what they're saying? They're saying, Jesus equals not the Father. You have a problem in Scripture at that point. 